What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Elite Dangerous Guide of Everything series. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a more advanced video. A lot of you guys have been asking when I was going to jump over to the advanced stuff, uh, so I'm going to be doing that. If you guys are new to the series, welcome. This is a series where I'm going through everything in Elite Dangerous from like basic docking all the way to stuff like this, where it's combat and how to make the most money possible in the quickest way. And like I said, it's a combat way to do that, and it's actually fun because there's a lot of guides out there about mining and things like that, but I don't really find mining and going to get a mineral and then bring it back and sell it uh, nearly as fun as I find killing things with combat and things like that so what I'm gonna do in this video guys is go ahead and show you exactly where I'm at and how this thing works uh, for me so this is a really awesome setup and uh, just by the way I'm doing this video a little bit differently typically I'd show you guys my actual buttons I'm pushing and do this live with my face camera and the in-game footage but unfortunately the servers are down right now for maintenance I was in the middle of recording this uh, a couple minutes ago and the servers went down so I, had, I still have the footage uh, but I'm having to redo it with some kind of footage that I had recorded already so I'm not sure exactly what you guys are seeing right now but it's gonna be relative to this so the system I'm in, uh, you guys can see on screen now. Uh, the nice thing about this system is that it's actually pretty awesome. It's like probably the best system I've been to because you have a mineral extraction uh, source right next to this. I think it's called King's Mill if I remember correctly. You guys will get to see it. Actually, I can pull it up right here. It is the Walker Orbital. I don't know why I got King's Mill. It's in the Walker Orbital, uh, which is right next to a mineral extraction site. They're actually like kissing each other. They're right next to each other. It's about a 15-minute uh frame shift drive, hyperspeed, whatever, flight away. So they're right next to each other and it works out really well. Now just a few disclaimers, you're gonna need to have some basic ship upgrades because you're not gonna be seeing a whole lot of sidewinders. You'll see some, but you're gonna be mainly fighting Cobras. Now this is perfect because if you're in an Eagle like me, which is a fairly easy ship to get, you're gonna be able to do this with some ease. Now. And just so you guys have an idea of uh, how this system works, I'll show you guys also where I'm at, the name of the system now. You can get to this system from the starting areas very easily. I did not upgrade, upgrade my frame shift drive or my fuel tank or anything like that. It took um, a few frame shifts, uh, actually quite a few, probably about 15 to 20 minutes to get here. And I also had to refuel along the way. But like I said, this system is perfect. There's a lot of Saturn-like planets, which means a lot of miners and a lot of high-value bounty hunters trying to kill those miners and by high value. Value, I mean maybe may, mainly Cobras like it's not like it's anything impossible to kill and I have yet to die doing this at all I did it for about an hour and got about 300,000 credits just to give you guys an idea now as far as my ship upgrades go um, I have a Cobra like I mentioned earlier with three guns that are gimbal mounted so they are gimbal mounts so they actually lock onto the target and I don't have to line up directly with sight uh, the reason I do that is just because I like gimbal mounts more I recommend them um, I also have a very good power distributor I actually got the best one there was it was like 60,000 credits but like I said it's easy to get a lot of credits in this area I didn't start doing this with the best uh, power distributor I came here with like an average power distributor and after one run of a hundred thousand credits I was like hey I'm gonna get a better Better power distributor and now I melt through Cobras it's awesome it's really great uh, the shields are up for about a second and at the end like I said I'll show you guys some of my stuff some of these runs and you'll hear my commentary at the time where I'm just like well the shields are gonna be down quick and they're down almost instantly which is really great so I have a better power distributor I have a three weapons on my on my Cobra that are all gimbal mounts um, I think that's really it though. I upgraded my cargo, which is irrelevant because you're not going to be focusing on miners. I have a warrant scanner, which you don't need for this at all. If you would have done nav beacons like I used to, you do need warrant scanners. The other great thing about doing this is you're not going to ever get a bounty, or at least I haven't yet gotten any bounty in about two or three hours of doing this in total. Um, I haven't gotten any bounties from like the Federation and the Alliance. I've only gotten them for this independent area right here. So you're not going to have to go like, oh man, this is great. I'm at a nav beacon. And I killed three or four guys. I have to go to the Federation, the Alliance, and uh, a few other areas to cash these in. You actually just kill people, drive 15 seconds, cash them in, and go back. And you refuel and repair in between. So it's pretty much the perfect setup. So. I think that's pretty much the big stuff. Uh, the other upgrade I have is like, I, I think I said this, I don't know, because like I said, I was recording this earlier, so some of my stuff might overlap, I apologize. I upgraded my cargo, which doesn't matter. I think I just said that. Um, it's late, but uh, yeah, cargo, um, power distributor, weapons, 
uh that's it i mean that's really it guys so i'm gonna go ahead and show you some clips now and leave you with that with some good music in the background you'll hear my live commentary uh but this is really like the best way to get money in elite dangerous that i've seen so far and still have fun doing it and you can do this pretty quickly just go ahead and upgrade from a sidewinder to an eagle and you can start right away i recommend the gimbal mounts like i said definitely need them so here you go guys i'm gonna go ahead and leave you with this let me know in the comments below how do you make money in elite dangerous and uh, are you making more than about I don't know, 150,000 plus, uh, maybe even 150,000 to 300,000 credits in an hour. Cause that's about what I've been averaging, uh, which breaks down to three runs of 100,000 credits every 20 minutes, which is really easy to do. It's about five kills an hour, which is almost none. So, uh, you'll have a lot of fun doing this. I know I have. And, uh, here's my commentary guys in game, uh, getting some of these kills and some of these runs back and forth. So here you are. Enjoy and uh, leave a thumbs up and a favorite if you did. And you can also subscribe, of course, for a, a more elite dangerous videos. Here you go, guys. Divert powered engines. Diverting power to requested system. Divert power to weapons. Diverting power to requested system. Stop engines. Stop the new thrusters. Silent running. 25%. 25% engaged. 100%. 100%. Twenty five percent. Twenty five percent. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Divert power to engines. Diverting power to requested system. Divert power to weapons. Diverting power to weapons. One hundred percent. Divert powered engines. Max engines. Target shields online. Target Divert power to weapons. Power to weapons. Twenty five per cent. Understood. Twenty five per cent. Fifty per cent. Fifty per cent. Good night, sir. Another fourteen, or actually about fifteen thousand credits. Let's look at these transactions right now. Eighty-one thousand plus ten thousand. About a hundred thousand in uh, bounties. Friendship drive charging. Fifty percent.
Thank you. Divert power to engines. Boost. Divert power to weapons. Stop engines. One hundred percent. Power to weapons. Fifty percent. One hundred percent. Cook you, sign warrior. Cooking you, baby. Stop engines. Stop moving thrusters. Two for breakfast. Divert power to weapons. Diverting power to weapons. Good night. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Divert power to weapons. Diverting power to weapons. Fifty percent. Fifty percent speed. Twenty-five percent. Once you get all your credits, all you have to do now is go ahead and go from the resource extraction site to Walker Orbital and cash your $100,000 or whatever in bounties. And it's just that simple. Divert power to weapons. Diverting power to requested system. Side wonder? No, it is. It's a cobra. Sweet. I'm being attacked by not system security. 
which means I can kill this dude. 100%. Ooh, can't believe we got out of there alive. Alright, so for the final part of this, as you can see, I've got to the station. Go ahead and dock this bad boy. As long as I don't get scanned, which I'm getting scanned. Make another fine for illegal cargo, I'm sure. But we'll see. Maybe they won't refine me for what I've already done. 50%. Understood. 50%. Stop engines. Space break. 25%. 25, sir. Stop engines. Cutting engines, stop here. Flight assist off. Flight assist off. Docking successful. Alright, dock the ship. Didn't get any random finds like I thought I would. Go to my contacts and I already have I have a bunch of finds, but I don't really care about that. The redeem voucher 96,000 credits and now you can see after just like I've been playing for like 30 minutes I went from like 11,000 credits to 1,300 whatever the nice thing too is this is a full like fully loaded uh, space station so you can actually go to the shipyard as well buy ships outfitting uh, they have a huge selection of stuff so it's really really nice uh, great, great station. This is this is almost like it shouldn't even exist, but it's awesome. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through.